Frank Murphy, who is a bachelor, went them all one better. He actually enlisted in the military. In the summer of 1942, when the Supreme Court was in recess, he got a, a special assignment in the army and he was in uniform and there would be newsreels in movie theaters showing him in his uniform in tanks, doing military maneuvers uh, um, during the day. And at night, he'd be sitting in the barracks going through Supreme Court filings, you know, requests for Supreme Court review and that kind of thing. And just the only, uh, uh, one other point about the war dominating the justices' personal lives is that they lived in the same bizarre Byzantine world of rationing and price controls and wage controls that everybody else in the country lived in. Um, you know, I have a picture in the book of Justice Wiley Rutledge's gasoline rationing card. He had a rationing card just like everybody else. Um, there are letters from Harlan Fisk Stone. Um, one is to a friend where he talks about how cold it is in the house because of the rationing of, um, of home heating oil. He and his wife go to local civil defense meetings where, they're, where the local neighborhood warden tells them what to do in the event of a bombing raid. And he comes home and writes his sons that he's convinced that if there is a bombing raid, we're just gonna have to sit and take it because there's no plan that he sees that's gonna do anything. And there's actually, you know, you know, there were blackouts in Washington and other major cities to try to make bombing raids more difficult. And so all the government buildings, including the Supreme Court, um, were blacked out at night. The monuments were blacked out. The private buildings were blacked out. And so there are newspaper articles that tell people what to do if they're out during a blackout. And they advise everybody to have a lit cigarette at their lips so that if somebody's walking by, they'll know there's a person there and they won't bump into you. But so, I mean, it was just, the, the war absolutely pervaded every aspect of their daily lives.